Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I also advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. Enjoy the tutorial. What's up everybody? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer here with another episode of Jeffrey Gamer Tutorials. And today's tutorial is not really going to be an LSPDFR uh, tutorial. It's going to be more of a, a just a regular GTA 5 tutorial. Although the mods that we're doing now doesn't mean you couldn't do them to your police cruisers. Or to see these vehicles and pull these vehicles over in the game. So I guess it could be GTA. I guess it could be LSPDFR. But you know me, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put patrols out there. I'm trying to put LSPDFR tutorials out there. And I'm also trying to put regular Grand Theft Auto uh, tutorials out there as well. Um, as we're getting more subscribers, we're getting more requests to do things that people are seeing in my videos. Um, and I'm getting hit up more often uh, for uh, help issues, um, which is cool. I absolutely love it. Um, I just fear the day that it comes where I can't help everybody at once, you know, but I will do my hardest to keep up with everybody's requests and everybody's issues for the time being. Um, as any of you know that have worked with me with getting things uh, fixed or installed, I try my absolute best to make sure that you are walking away happy and 100% satisfied. Um, but I am seeing that the channel is getting bigger. Uh, subscri subscriptions are coming in faster, and that's that's just awesome, man. Let's let's get big together, you know. Let's do this. So if you're new here, if this is helpful to you or you like what you see, go ahead and smack that like button, hit that subscribe, and ring that bell so you know when new content's added. And your boy Jeffrey Gamer will hook you up, man. Um, in the description below, I have a couple of Facebook pages. I have Jeffrey Gamer Facebook page. I have LSPDFR Plus Facebook page uh, as well. And um, yeah, man, uh, linked. Also, link below are going to be all the you know you usually put the uh, downloads that you're going to need for this tutorial will be down below as well. So, by request from Tashinga. Nyandoro, Nyandoro, Tashinga Nyandoro, N Y A N D O R O. This one is for you. Um, he sent me a message asking if he could. Uh, a while back, I put in, I just made a video just showcasing some of the different vehicle uh, engine sounds and that that I installed into the game, including the supercharger, the turbocharger. And he is super interested in putting those into his game so this tutorial is for you buddy and anybody else that wants to put it in there um uh, it's it's intricate but super easy to do okay this will be a step-by-step -step. Um, i'm going to show you everything that's needed i know my tutorials can kind of stretch out a little bit but if you sit and you watch them everything will go into your game perfectly okay guys so please please also back up your game files Go into your main directory, left click your Grand Theft Auto folder once, right click it, copy, go down to the bottom of your directory or your common folder, left click and right click to paste. What I will do is I will link how to back up your files in the description below as well. And I'll also put the video that um, Tashinga watched so that... Um, you can you can hear it and, and all that and at the end of this video i will also um hold on just writing this down to link the backup file tutorial um as you know in my tutorials i like to go in game and show you guys that it works um and and that and you can showcase it you can see what it sounds like you can see what it looks like and i'll tell you what man what we're going to do right now is going to be awesome so i've been rambling on i'm known to ramble on i know my subscribers say yo man screw that ramble on all you want your tutorials are great super easy to follow and i love you guys for that and that is my goal because the way i learned is the way i'm teaching slow and simple okay got tired of those tutorial videos 
where a you got the tutorial videos with no talking no nothing it's just a guy with this awful music or girl with this awful music and they're just going all fast and willy-nilly and you got to pause and back up and pause no i like to take it slow i like to show you every single step and explain to you so that's why i do my tutorials the way i do that's why i ramble on if i'm rambling too much just fast forward till you see me going through and downloading everything so okay here we go you guys ready i am ready let's do this all right so first thing you are going to want to download in the bottom now i already have them downloaded but i will show you where to go you're gonna you're gonna click the custom engine sound dash v8 okay that's going to bring you to this page right here uh custom engine sound v8 supercharger okay uh 1.0 and this is by rashi 215 rashi 215 and the off chance that you're seeing this thank you for your contribution to grand theft auto man this is an awesome mod so go ahead and click that download button right there and what it's going to do is it's automatically oh well i downloaded it twice it's automatically going to start downloading it and because it's just an engine wave sound it's a super fast download okay so uh, i download mine as you all know to the top of my taskbar you might want to download it to your desktop to a folder wherever you know you can open it up in just a few minutes okay so let's open this up and uh let's x out of this because i don't need it don't x out of yours okay i'm gonna x out of the next two but you don't x out of them i'm only doing it because i already have them saved down here in my taskbar but i like to hit the download button to show you guys okay so we are all set with that one next thing you want to do is you want to go below and click the other turbo sound link and that will bring you to this page right here now before we click download on this this guy hippie uh hippie thank you for your contribution to grand theft auto this mod is super popular as you can see it's almost got fifty-four thousand downloads it's an awesome awesome mod i'm telling you it's awesome what you may want to do you may want to pause my video right here okay and you may want to go into this first file right here and hit play and what this is going to do is this is going to go through he's got wastegate one through eight i believe no one through 11 or yeah one through 11 and then after this one so you can hear the turbo what he does is he he showcases what they sound like so that in the file you know which one you want to you want to pick and we'll go through the file and i'll show you the sounds of them in the file as well um and then he's got new models where uh you know he just does a little quick little and see that one's a very subtle one the one i want to do is going to be not waste gates that one's pretty cool but i like this one this is the one that i um have in in my game that sounds so awesome so go through that video when you find which one you want whether it's the old or the new he has new written on the bottom of the video you write down which number it is if it, is it one is it two is it is it new seven new eight i'm gonna go with the new eight the last one that we just heard so make sure you write that down and you're gonna click the download and because it's just a wave file super quick that one's already done i'm gonna open mine and x out of it you don't x out of it okay and the last uh download we are going to do is we're going to download a vehicle um that we are going to put these mods on at least that i'm going to okay you do not have to do this if you don't want to um this is going to replace your gauntlet in the game okay the gauntlet is the grand theft auto version of the dodge challenger so we're going to put this in the game if you don't want to do it i could always um i can show you through in this video where to go or what to look up to put it in a vehicle that you want to put it into uh the turbo sound automatically goes into any car that you install a turbo on in the game but this custom engine sound this v8 supercharger 
you have to go into your vehicle matrix file, which I'll show you, and put it into a specific car. So um, we're going to use the Dodge Challenger for that, and I'll show you how to put in a different car if you want to, okay? So double-click that Dodge Challenger Demon, uh, and there she is right there. Ah, kill, ah, kill. Thank you, sir, or ma'am, for your beautiful contribution to Grand Theft Auto. This is a pretty sick, and as you can see, it's got it's equipped with a supercharger. Obviously, it's a demon. Um, these cars come with like seven, eight hundred horsepower. They're insane. Okay, um, high quality interior. Uh, we are just going to do the replacement. Okay, we're not going to do the replacement with the meta files or the add-on with all the customizable things. I myself am just going to do the replacement, so it's a basic replacement. So what that mean? What does that mean? That means that the gauges inside uh, first-person view inside the car won't work. The lights will work. It'll look like the car. It just won't have the digital gauges because we're just going to go through this super quick. Um, feel free to look up how to install Meta files. There's a ton of uh, tutorials out there. Maybe I'll come out with one. Um, but uh, for now, we're just going to do a basic replacement install for the Challenger. Okay. So go ahead and click that download button. This one takes a little longer than the other ones do because it's a whole car file. So I am going to cancel mine. Do not cancel yours. Okay. Because I already have it. So I'll give you guys a few moments. Um, go ahead if you can while it's downloading and start up your OpenIV. We are only going to need OpenIV during this tutorial. And all of our work we're going to be using open IV and our desktop okay all right so we got open IV we're ready to go on that okay and let me just make sure I am in my don't follow my steps right here guys I'm just making sure I'm not in my okay there's my LSPDFR main file now I did already try these out and um, I did already Obviously, I've tried them out. You can see them in my other video. Um, one thing that I will tell you that it might do, whenever you change WAV files and meta files in your OpenIV, sometimes the car file, depending on how intricate the car file is, your game may crash once or twice during loadup, not during gameplay. Um, during the loadup, it might uh, during loadup it might crash and say, uh, "Do you want to install script hook V updates?" Just click no. Okay, and restart your game. Um, usually, it doesn't do it more than twice. If it does it, you know, more than uh, I, I usually say, give it up to four to five tries, depending on the speed and that of your computer. Um, if it crashes after five tries to get into the, uh, you know, loading up the game, something went wrong, and uh, revert back to how you know we put the stuff back in. Um, but that's why I say back up your game files. Okay, guys back up your game files Pause this video watch the video I have linked below to see how to back up your game file before we get started I cannot stress that enough any modder any Tutorial guy will tell you backing up your game file is very important And if you install this mod and everything goes great You can delete that backup copy or keep it for future uh, mods that you want to put in your game Okay, so by now we should have all three uh, mods ready to go. They may be in your taskbar. I like to keep mine in my taskbar because it's easy to just bring up one at a time and work with it, okay? So the first WinRAR I want you to bring up is going to be your Dodge Demon, okay? That's going to be this one right here. It's going to be the 47BB6D, Demon.RAR. And I'm not going to make that mistake anymore. I make the mistake of putting my uh, my screen right in front of the, right behind my camera there. Because I can't see my camera on the screen right now. And it freaks me out. And I want you guys to be able to see my whole screen that we're working with. Okay, so this is going to be super easy. As you see, they have the demon and then they have the replace. If you go into the demon... This is going to be your DLC that RPF. It's an add-on. That means you got to go into the game. You got to type it in the game. You got to bring the car up. Okay. We don't want that. Well, I don't. You could do that if you want, but this tutorial is going to be for the replacement. In other words, the replacement is going to be 
uh, like I said, the gauntlet in your game, even the gauntlets that the AIs drive, they will now be driving uh, Dodge Demons instead of the gauntlet. Okay, so it's pretty cool, pretty cool mod. So over here in your Open IV, yeah. So click your replace, double click your replace over here in your Open IV. Go ahead and hit Edit Mode. Okay, and this is the pathway that you want to take. Now, some of you may already have it saved in your favorites, but for those that don't, we will do the pathway, and I will show you how to put it in your favorites. Okay? So, the vehicle pathway, super easy. You're going to click Mods. You're going to click... Now, if you don't have Time 64 e over here under your Rage Package Files, just go over here to the left and go down to you see Time 64 e Click that. A red box is going to pop up right here. And it's going to ask if you want to copy it to your mods folder. Go ahead and click yes. Copy it to your mods folder. That way it's always going to be here. Okay. So after you do that, we're going to go back from the beginning. Click mods. Time 64 E. Levels. GTA 5. Vehicles. Dot. RPF and here they are these are all of your vehicles that are in I mean all of them that are in your Grand Theft Auto game okay now this is the part where you want to go up here to favorites click it click add to favorites it's going to be vehicles.rpf you could change it to uh, all vehicle files in GTA or you could just keep it at vehicles.rpf that way, when you get another mod, if you ever want to do another mod and you see where it says put it in your vehicles.rpf, you know that's your vehicles.rpf. So um, I just left mine alone and then click the add button. And now anytime you want to get back to this, you would just go to your favorites, vehicles.rpf, and boom, brings you right back to it. Okay, guys. Now what we want to do is we want to scroll down, okay? Actually, go over here to your desktop. Here goes the backup the backup game file, okay? We are going to right-click on... Oops, I don't want to... Right-click on the desktop. New. Click or hover over new. Click folder. And what you are going to name this is Gauntlet. Okay? Just like that. Hit enter. Now we have our Gauntlet folder. This is what you're going to want to do, guys. Now, I can't show you what the gauntlet looks like because I already have the uh, Dodge Demon installed into my game. But we all know what the gauntlet looks like. So here we are. So we're going to scroll down until you get to gauntlet. Okay, you got one. Gauntlet dot YFT. Gauntlet underscore high dot YFT. We got gauntlet dot YFT. Gauntlet underscore high dot YFT. Where's the YTD? I'll show you if you scroll down while we're right here go ahead and hold your control key and select that gauntlet the underscore high dot yft and select the dot yft okay with your control button still pressed down kind of take this and drag it on down to the texture dictionary and there's our texture dictionary dictionary and it's it's all alphabetized so we're going to find the gauntlet in here there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There it is. You're going to have four of them in here. Now, we don't need the plus high dot YTD, okay? Um, we'll, we'll be able to leave that in there. But with your control button down, you also want to select those two files. So you're going to have four files. You can let go of your control key after you select these, okay? So we have two selected right here. We scroll on up. And we have two selected right there. Left click and hold on one of them. While you're holding it, drag it over to your folder here. Let her rip, tater chip. So now, if we double click this, we now have our original gauntlets saved in a folder. So if you don't like the Dodge Demon, you are going to take this, you are going to watch this video again, and the exact steps that we just did you are going to do with this file it's very simple if you want to replace 
if you want to put the gauntlet back into the game, see, I almost went back under my camera. All you're going to do is you're going to go to your vehicles.rpf that you have saved under your favorites so that you're right here where it has the gauntlet. You are going to highlight these four things. You are going to drag them in and you're going to drop them. And that will take out the Dodge Demon and it'll put your regular gauntlet back in. So if for some reason your Dodge Demon messes up your game, I just want to go back to my gauntlet, open up this folder. You're going to save this folder on your desktop or I like to put mine. I'm going to delete this one. Don't delete yours. You're going to take it. I have an OG car.yft folder. So if I double click this, all the vehicles that I've changed in my game, I have all the original files backed up right here in case they caused any issues. Boom. I could just put it right back in. No harm done. Okay. So I'm going to delete my gauntlet folder because I already have it. Don't delete yours. Put it somewhere. Okay. So now that our gauntlets, uh, saved or backed up go ahead and hold your control key and you're going to select the gauntlet.yft unselect that one sometimes that one selects you just want to select the three gauntlet ytd gauntlet underscore high yft you just want these three like i said the handling dot meta the vehicles meta are they important yeah they are important but for the sake of showing you this video the car does handle fine in the game it, it works fine in the game and you'll see it um, <laughs> but we're not going to go into all that right now, just for the sake of showing you this, we're going to put this one in here. So let go of your control key, take these three files, left click, drag them on over here and let go of your button. And if you go and double click your gauntlet here, there is the Dodge Demon installed into our game guys. Okay. So we can exit out of that. You can go ahead and now exit out of your WinRAR, unless you're going to put in the handle in the meta. Uh, then you want to keep it, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I'm going to exit out of mine. Okay. So just click over here. So it unhighlights that. Now it is time to let's bring up. Let's do the supercharger. Let's do that one first. Okay. So inside of the WinRAR file. We are going to need, actually, let's get to our path, okay? So double click your mods folder over here on the left. It's gonna bring you right back to the beginning. Now this, this particular file, okay? Where it says V8 Supercharger Mod. It's pretty cool the way the developer did this, okay? So this is what you're gonna do. Double click your V8 Supercharger Mod, okay? You're going to double click mods right here. Boom. You're going to double click mods over here. Now he's telling you to click update. There's update. So double click update. Double click update. Times 64. There's your time 64. So double click that. Double click that. DLC packs. There it is. So double click that. Double click that. Now he misspelled this one. It's supposed to be MP apartment. He forgot the A in there. So you're going to go right here. MP apartment. Double click that. Double click that. DLC.RPF. Some pathways guys. Double click DLC.RPF. Double click DLC.RPF. Time 64. You know where we're going with this. Double click. Double click. Audio audio double click double click sound effects sound effects double click double click and i believe this is the last one dlc apartment dlc apartment double click double click here we are now now that you're on this one right here let me just make sure that okay Okay, so this is going to be super, super easy, guys. As you can see, Mamba.awc, I already have it in here, Mamba.awc. All you're going to do is left click that once, drag it on over here and let her go, okay? Just let her go. Once you do that, 
you will see the Mamba. It'll either put it in alphabetical order or it might throw it down to the bottom. And that is it. Your custom engine sound is in. Now, remember this name, Mamba, M-A-M-B-A. Write it down somewhere. Take a picture of it with your cell phone because any car that you want to sound like a V8 supercharged car, you have to go into the Meta files, which I'm going to show you right now, and change the audio uh, name hash to Mamba. And I will show you exactly how to do that, okay? So now that you got your picture of that, we can go ahead and exit out of this WinRAR, okay? Now, obviously, there's no need to back anything up in this file because you're just adding on something, okay? And while you're here, you can go ahead, go to favorites and add to favorites. And what I did is I named mine engine sounds. So as you could see, if I go to favorites and tie and put in engine sounds, AWC, it's going to bring me right here to this page. That tells me that anytime I have an engine sound that I want to install into the game, all I got to do is click favorites and go to engine sounds and it's going to bring me right here, guys. So definitely do that. Save that under your favorites, name it, get it got a good. When you're done with that, double click your mods folder again to bring you back to the main beginning. And we want to go to our vehicle, vehicles meta files. Okay. And the pathway for that. Now I have mine saved vehicle meta, but we're going to show you how to get there. Guys, you're going to click your mods. Okay. You are going to click update update that RPF common data levels GTA 5 and here it is right here so this page right here again go to favorites add to favorites GTA 5 and update that RPF I changed mine to uh, vehicles dot meta okay so that I know if I ever have to change a sound in a vehicle or anything like I'm going to show you I just click that okay so save it to your favorites do it do it now do it all right so as you all know we installed our Dodge Challenger into the gauntlet uh, GTA slot so this is where it it it's easy but it gets tricky and it can be confusing if you don't follow along or pay attention the vehicles meta file is what tells grand theft auto where your person sits when they're driving how your vehicle handles what your vehicle sounds like where the wheels are placed on your vehicle pretty much everything that's in its place when it comes to the vehicles and the player inside the vehicle is inside this vehicle meta files okay so we are going to right click on the vehicles dot meta and we are going to go to edit okay click, just click edit now here we are inside of our vehicles dot meta and let me show you don't touch nothing but all this right here is going to be all of the meta files for your vehicles that are in the game there's a lot of them we are going to be working with the gauntlet okay now if you did not put the gauntlet in your car you are going to do these steps but pick a different car that you want to put it in if you didn't oh geez i don't know how to, even if you want to put it on your regular gauntlet or the buffalo 2 or the uh buffalo th 3 i think which is the uh spark energy drink or whatever the hell it is uh buffalo um the uh look at my my little book right here i know i'm such a nerd but it's coming handy i've got all the vehicles in here the dominator if you want to put this v8 engine sound in the dominator you're going to do the exact steps i'm doing except you're going to type in uh, in the search bar, you're going to type in Dominator. Us, because we changed the gauntlet, we have the Dodge Demon in the gauntlet. Click this search bar right here, okay? So click that search bar, and we're going to type in Gauntlet. 
and what it's going to do, and don't hit enter, just type in gauntlet, don't hit enter, it's going to bring you right here. Now, as you can see, oops, oh, Jeff, what did you do? Let me, let me retype mine in. Okay, there we go. Now, as you can see, if you look down a little bit, you're going to see audio name hash. Now, yours isn't going to look like mine. You're only going to, yours is only going to say audio name hash. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> Actually, that's all it's going to say. Now, whether you typed in gauntlet, whether you typed in Buffalo. Now, if yours does look like this, great. All you got to do is in between these, uh, less than and more than signs. I don't know the Pac-Man signs, I guess you would just put in Mamba. This is exactly what you want to put in, in that line. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to go to the, uh, I'm going to do this with you guys. Just thought of that. We're going to do this with you. And what I am going to do is I am going to put it in the Phoenix. You guys stay, you guys stay on the gauntlet. I'm going to do it in the Phoenix so I can show you, uh, how to do it. Okay. So here I am at the Phoenix. You're in the gauntlet or whatever car you want to put the sound into. There you go. That's how your audio name hash looks. Okay. I am going to tell you real slow right now, go ahead and just left click right after the Pac-Man sign there. So it's blinking and it's lit up in that tan color and you're just going to backspace, do it singly. Don't hold it in because if you hold it in, it'll start going all the way up backspace. And so you just want to backspace until that line is empty. Okay. Now I have it written down right here. Okay. So this is exactly what you want to put in. Follow me here, guys. Okay underneath whatever vehicle you want to put this in i'm doing the phoenix so i can show you because i already have it in my gauntlet if you're doing the gauntlet if you're doing whatever car you want to do you are going to do the less than sign okay which is the forward facing pac-man i guess you would say or right facing pac-man i don't know you're going to put in lowercase a u d i o uppercase n lowercase a m e uppercase h lowercase a s h then you're going to do the opposite face and pac-man sign there okay it's going to be that one so you got the beginning no spaces we're going to have no spaces in this so you got the forward face and pac-man audio name hash with the n and the h being capitalized now capital letters you want to put in m a m b a mamba okay then you want to do the uh right facing uh less than sign the right facing pac-man which is going to be that one there okay which is going to be your shift comma button then you're going to do this now you're going to do a forward slash just like that and you're going to do a lowercase a u d i o uppercase n lowercase a m e uppercase h lowercase a s h backwards facing pac-man sign just like that guys so it's going to have this audio name hash on both sides exactly the same the only difference is you got a forward slash right here where you don't have one over here this is exactly, pause this video and make sure yours looks exactly like this because if you mess this part up, you can mess up your game. Again, we don't need to back up any files here. If you don't want the sound in your game, all you have to do is click right past the Mamba, okay? And you would highlight all this and just, this is if you want to get rid of it. If you don't like it, you don't want it in the car that you picked. You want to put that car back to uh, Grand Theft Auto. You're going to come back in here. You're going to search the car that you put it in. You're going to find audio name hash. Damn it. Why does it keep doing that? Okay. Where is it? Yeah. Audio name hash. 
you're going to click just before that this one here and you're going to backspace and you are going to not now like i said man i know i said it but i'm just showing you guys what to do if you want to go back to the original and you're just going to backspace it so that you have this right here okay guys and then you know you just save it so right now with the audio name hash mamba forward slash audio name hash hit your save button i'm not going to hit mine because like i said i already have it in hit that save button <laughs> that's going to bring you back out here boom your vehicle now has the uh v8 supercharged sound in it okay so now it, now just double click on your uh mods folder it's going to bring us right back out here the next one that we're going to do the last one we are going to do is a little more intricate okay so you're going to bring up your turbo okay the turbo this mod this mod is such an awesome mod guys you are absolutely going to love this mod okay so this one is going to be the same way the other one is was the v8 uh supercharger so double click uh, the GTA 5 other turbo sound, okay? And let me, I wanna say, okay, 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 I got it. Now in the readme text, go back real quick, go back to GTA other turbo sounds, okay? And then I'm going to go here to the readme text, extract the GTA 5 other turbo sounds by hippie anywhere you want and open IV, go into edit mode and go to your GTA 5 folder. And then we're going to want to go to this pathway right here, which I'll take you through in a minute. Um, and you're going to right click on the export open format, the OAC. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this GTA 5 other turbo sounds by hippie, left click it and drag it to your desktop boom okay there it is right there we got the folder we need right here all right now as it said we want to take we want to go to this pathway you're going to click mods you're going to click time 64 audio sound effects and then you're going to scroll down to resident dot rpf double click that save this guys okay uh favorites add to favorites resident dot rpf click the add button and save this one to your favorites now here is what we are going to do in the readme file it says to extract that in the open rv or open rv open iv uh we want to right click on the awc okay so let me sling this over here for now there's your vehicles dot awc okay you want to left click it once to highlight it then right click it you are going to export to open formats so click that okay and you're going to go and you're going to select desktop so it says desktop right down here in this folder. Click select folder. Okay. You'll see that little bar pop up and then you want to look for it. There it is right here. We're going to bring these up here so that you could see what we're doing a little better. All right. There we go. All right. So that step done. The next step I have, I have to read it off of the readme because, um, I, I haven't done it in a while and I forgot how to do this part. So, but you don't have to worry about reading. Just do as I do. Okay, guys. <laughs> now, like it says, uh, extract it to wherever you want. We pick the desktop because it's easier. Uh, it's going to create a vehicles.oac file and a vehicles folder. Vehicles folder, vehicles OAC. So we know it worked. Now, go in the other Turbo Sounds mod files you extracted. Okay, that's going to be, that's going to be right 
no, sorry. That's going to be right. We don't need our open, well, we do need, Jesus, what the hell just happened there? It's like it sucked it all up. Hold on a second, folks. Let me, I'm so sorry about that. Let me bring this back up, okay? There we go. We can cover up our open IV for right now because we're just going to be working with this. Well, I'm going to be working with this, so, um, but we're going to be working with this and we're going to be working with these right here, okay? So, now going to the other Turbo Sounds mod files you extracted. Copy the dump valve wave and the wastegate wave um, that you chose, as well as the wave files contained in the files to leave empty like that folder, and put them in the vehicles folder that got extracted uh, when we did the, so in other words, this folder. So, what it's saying is, you got your dump valve, okay? You double click that, you got a silent version, which, if you're installing this mod, obviously you don't want silent, okay? You got version 1. Now, if you click them and play them, it's going to show you. I'm sorry if that was loud. That was loud on my headphones. Okay. All of these are going to be loud. So, if you want to turn down your volume, do it now. Um, but it just shows you. Then you can go back and double click version 2 and play that one. Okay. And we exit out of that. Go back. Double click version 3. Okay, I myself, I like version 2. Um, it just sounds more realistic. So, what you are going to do. First, figure out which ones you want. So, you got the dump valve. Then you got the new wastegate and the old wastegate. Remember when I told you to pause the video, go and look and see which one you like the way it sounds best. Okay? Like I said, I like the new wastegate 8 so you would double i would double click on the new one if you liked number three and the old there's your file right there okay wastegate new number eight which is the last one that's the one i like okay now you need the wave files okay so since we're in here double click on the version that you want whether you're in the old wastegate or the new wastegate pick whichever one you want open it up until you see the little wave file wastegate dot wave you are going to take this and now go into the other copy the files you want as well as all the files and put them in the view yeah so you are going to left click hold it Drag it over here to your desktop to the vehicles folder that we created. Okay, it's going to be the folder that says vehicles. And just let it go. It's going to ask you if you want to replace it. Go ahead and click yes. And it's going to move that. Now the wastegate is installed. Well, not installed, but we have it in our folder. Now we're going to go back, and you're going to go back again. You're going to double click dump valve. You're going to pick what version of these you want. I'm going to go with two. Okay. So, again, left click it once. Drag it over to the vehicles folder. And let her rip. Again, it's going to ask you if you want to replace it. Click yes. If it doesn't ask you, then don't worry about it. It's because I already have it installed, so that's probably why it's asking me. But if it is asking you, go ahead and click yes. Because it might just be overwriting uh uh, the Grand Theft Auto dump valve. So, you're going to backspace again. Backspace one more time in your WinRAR. Files to leave empty like that. Double click that. Okay? You've got all these files right here. From suspension underscore up dot wave. You could either hold your control button in and select all of them. Or you can left click down here. And go up. Drag it up until you get to the top. Don't select that little folder there. If you got from zero times one B, O, B, or is that a D? I'm not sure. But this first one here, calf dot wave, all the way down to suspension up dot wave. Left click once, drag all these over to your vehicles folder, let it go, and replace files in this destination. Folks, we are all done. Let me just double check. Okay, 
we are all done with the WinRAR file for your turbo sound. So exit out of that. And let me bring this over here because now we are going to work with our open IV again. So right here while we're in the same spot, okay, left click down here to de-highlight that. Down here, you are going to right click. There's two ways to do it. You could right click and then import open formats, or you can go up here to new and import open formats, okay? So as it says, go to open IV, click new. It says click new, but I just right click. Choose the vehicle.oac file that got created when you extracted the vehicles.awc, which is this one right here. Okay, and I'll show you how to get there. We're gonna right click import open formats click here make sure you're on your desktop and you are going to scroll until you see there it is vehicles.oac click that once make sure it's high it's down here vehicle file name vehicles.oac and open it what we're going to do here and all usually all looks good just click ok Boom. Exit out of this, the readme file, if you have it open. Folks, we now have, and we can go ahead and get rid of these folders that are on our desktop. I don't even think we needed this one. That might have been an unnecessary step that I told you to do, but it's not going to hurt nothing, right? Um, yeah, so now we are all set. We can delete those. And we can click your edit mode. Okay. And what we can do is I like to go to file and close all archives. So everything's closed up. Edit mode's off. We're safe. Exit out of that. Folks, we now have the V8 sound installed into our gauntlet. Well, in our case, our Dodge Demon because we replaced the Dodge Demon. We have our turbo sound installed and we are ready to go in the game and show you how it sounds. I'll see you in there. All right, folks, so here we are in the game. Um, I went ahead and I loaded my gauntlet. Uh, first off, yes, my game did crash twice because I, I did install the turbo sounds. Like I said, you might have experienced a, a crash. Um, it shouldn't happen again. Usually happens the first couple of times because OpenIV needs to link up and while it's putting all the files where it needs to go, Sometimes it clashes with your LSPDFR plugin. Now, if you don't have LSPDFR plugged into your game and you are just installing this in the Grand Theft Auto, you might not even notice any crashes. Mine crashed because LSPDFR is trying to load at the same time OpenIV is trying to get the files where they need to go. But we're good and it should be good from here on out. So, with my simple trainer, you might have menu uh, or simple trainer. What you want to do is you want to load up your vehicle. Um, I already have mine loaded here, as you can see. The Dodge Demon has loaded in perfectly. And I, I have this one saved, so I customized it. But if you have a oh, uh, simple trainer, you're going to hit your button to open up your simple trainer. You're going to go to vehicle options. Uh, or is it vehicle mod menu and you want to make sure you have your turbo right here installed or enabled okay so you can hear the new turbo sound now as you already heard you heard the v8 sound that we now have in our gauntlet or load up whatever car you put your v8 sound in okay so when we get in it here you can hear it right here and it just man that sounds so good so let's go ahead and I got mine beefed up to it's super fast um, but let's go ahead and listen to our uh, the whining noise now this one I have the supercharger and the turbo on it just so you can hear it okay I think I might have it lowered a little too much I can hear it scraping all over the ground so let's go ahead and hey, there's that turbo sound here 
Oh, man, that turbo sounds so good. That engine sound, that V8 engine sound, sounds amazing. So whatever turbo sound and whatever uh, dump valve that you picked, it is now in your game. And any car that you turbo will have it in it. Although some cars do have a different tone to it. It'll sound similar, but it'll have a different tone depending on what car you have picked. What do I mean by that? Let me go ahead and pull out my uh, Dodge Charger. I have a Dodge Charger saved that's got a different engine sound to it. So the turbo sounds just a tad different, okay? Now, just to let you hear what this sounds like. Okay. Oops. I don't know how let me go inside the car. Now you see what I mean? All the, everything here is working, but your mile per hour and your gauges don't work because we didn't do the meta files. Oh, you can't really hear it. Why do I keep hitting that button? So there's that turbo. Okay. Now with the magic of editing, I'm going to snap my fingers and I will have my charger right in okay so here's our dodge charger okay now the dodge charger has a different engine tone to it um i have a different engine sound installed in this you can go to the gta5 mods.com that we went to to download these and you can look up other engine sounds that you want to put in other cars and just follow this tutorial step by step and that's how you can get the engine sounds in your car. Don't forget to go to your vehicle meta file and put whatever the name of the engine sound is into the car's audio name hash file, just like we did. Follow the steps exactly to putting in the uh, V8 supercharger. Follow those steps with whatever other engine sound you have installed, and then boom. Um, I tried looking for this one. Uh, for the charger, I can't seem to find it, but I will look some more to see if I can find it because some people might want to have it. It's an amazing sound, and uh, it's the sound that you heard inside of the uh, demo video. But the turbo is going to sound a little bit different in this, but again, it's totally different than what uh, GTA has. So let's hop inside of this and check it out. Look at the. I'm a Mopar fan, man. I love. I also have the wheels, uh, these are Advin, um, I installed a wheel package, two wheel packages, and the, the, uh, Dodge Challenger, I forget, I think, I want to say those are, O's, no, those are, uh, f uh, Forge, Forgiata, Forgiato, I forget, um, so we'll wait for this train to go by, so you can, oh, I don't, did you guys even hear that, the way this one sounded? Let's wait for that train to go by. Alright, so the train is gone. Let's go ahead and hear this thing. Oof. Oh, you can't tell me you don't like the way that sounds. The car is bouncing a little bit because I have it lowered with the, uh, with the simple trainer and I do think that I want to do a I want to do a screenshot right here boom that's gonna be the screenshot for the thumbnail alright so let's now this one is not supercharged but it does sound super aggressive uh, it's got a muffler delete sound to it with the crackling you'll hear the crackling ready hear that listen to that all right we're gonna punch it and hear this turbo okay see it sounds similar but it almost it almost sounds more predominant with this car Doggy. Ah, 
Ah, crap. But man, she I got vehicle god mode on because I knew I was going to be... Somebody just got hit. Because I knew I was going to be going crazy with it, so... So that's it, guys. I mean, it's... I know this video took a while, but like I said, I really like to explain exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it and how to back up your files. So I hope you stayed along with it because the end results are amazing. The sounds are now in your game. You are good to go. Go ahead and go in your game, grab your car, and whip that shit around Los Santos. Um, I promise you, you will love it. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that is all I wanted to tell you guys. So yeah, till uh, until we you know talk again. Be safe, be healthy, uh, follow the rules, and obey the law. Until next time, folks, your boy is out. Peace.